Assalamu alaikum to everyone. This is Sir Abhil Ahmed from Abhil School of Accountancy. In this very small uh, AFM video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to discuss most of the shortcuts which are available in AFM exams and you know that now students are required to use shortcuts in order to get professional marks. If you're not using shortcuts, you will not be getting marks. So let us discuss majority of the shortcuts which are available in AFM in a very short period of time. Let's say this is the data. I just need to calculate NPV. For NPV, dear students, you have to use NPV function. If you're not using NPV function, you will not get professional marks. Comma, okay. So this is the NPV. I have just used a shortcut. Now let's say I need to calculate IRR of the same project is equal to IRR. Just take the values. That's it. It is the IR. Now I want to calculate MIRR. So, okay. Let's take MIRR. It says take values. All the values I'm going to take. Comma. Uh -oh, comma. Uh, rate of financing rate and rate of reinvestment. Basically in MIRR we do assume that your uh, rate of reinvestment is also be reinvest on cost of capital. That is why I'm taking the same rate. If you have been given a different rate for reinvestment, obviously you will take the different rate. MIRR for the same project must be lower than IRR. So now let's go the biggest shortcut which is available from September 22 onwards is BSOP. A very good news for all the AFM student from September sitting uh, from September 2022 onwards. Now you're not supposed to do all the hard work which you were uh, doing earlier. Now BSOP calculator will be given to you in exam and all you need is just put the values of PAP, RST, you will get the answer. All the answers you will be getting automatically. Let me show you that. Here comes the BSOP calculator. This BSOP calculator you can see in your uh, pre-mock exam September 22. Look at on uh, your left hand side response options. We have word processor. We have a spreadsheet. Now you also have a BSOP calculator. How it works. Uh, let me explain to you. It's very simple. It's as simple as I would say ABC. Look at this. What they have done. What ACC has done. You can see. Uh, they have given you the option of P A P R S T. Dear students, all you need is just put the values of P A P E R S T, and automatically you will be getting D1, D2, ND1, ND2 call and put values. Assuming, let's say the P A value is 100. Okay. Assuming P E value is 90. Let's say R is 4%. Time I'm taking 0 0.5. S I'm taking, let's say, 40%. So look at this. Wow. Look at this. What I did, I just put the value of PAPRST. I got automatically D1, D2, ND1, ND2 value of the call as, call as well as the value of the put. That's simply great. You can see one thing. The value of the put is lower than the value of the call. The reason is, to be very honest, more precisely, basically the Fair, the value of the call option is having both the component that is intrinsic value as well as time value. But in, when it comes, why put is having a lower value? Because put is having put 5.71 is only representing the time value. It is not representing the intrinsic value. Basically in put, the intrinsic value is zero. The interpretation of this data, I'm just telling you. So in a very short period of time, uh, so the very good news for my, or for all AFM students, obviously, the B shop calculator is added. All you need is just put the value of P, A, P, E, R, S, T and you will get the results. That's it. So simply, thank you very much for watching this lecture. Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Have a nice life.